Um, today, since I didn't get much done today, um, I was thinking that I could feature my wife, Dietra, on the vlog today. So we're going to do a vlog takeover. Uh, go and follow her if you're not already. And hope you enjoy. You. <laughs> I'm out here hiking. The family passed me and they probably thought I was crazy because I kind of look really of the land right now. I guess, just a little bit. I'm barefoot. Anyway, so I am walking around this area back and forth looking for my shoes because I've misplaced them. <laughs> And I seriously, I set them in a spot where I was like, oh, this is the perfect spot by some like wild celery and I'll remember where it is. <laughs> ah! I complete, I don't know where they are. And I've been looking for 10 minutes. Hmm, where did I put them? Where did I put them? exercise on random things that I find in the wild, like tree stumps. So this is a slow motion video of me plucking some blooms from some wild lettuce that I came across in my hiking today. My intents for it is to make a wild edible flower pesto. And I just want to talk a second about the misconception that people have about taking from wild places or um, the whole idea of like, leave no trace. So when we come across plants that are in bloom, it's quite different because they actually want us to pluck. I'm serious. I'm dead serious. So what happens is when you do the action of plucking, like I have shown in the slow motion video, the plant responds by making more blooms because it literally thinks, oh my gosh, I'm needed. I have purpose. I'm going to create more of myself to help sustain life. <laughs> Um, it's actually quite beautiful and the science behind it is wonderful if you guys want to look into it if you are one of those people that's like leave no trace um, the nature is literally wanting us to respond to it interact with it and really love it and have reverence for it so obviously this has been a wild revival homestead takeover of Chase's vlog and I'm so glad that I could share this time with you all. I <laughs> went hiking today and explored some of the more wild areas of um, Reno, the outskirts of Reno, because uh, wilderness does kind of exist here. It's still a little bit wild and that's why we love living here. So a few things. Uh, to mention because I didn't actually didn't know that I was going to be doing this vlog until after I got back from hiking and well so there's a few things worth mentioning I really don't like the gym and I like to exercise on random things that I find in the wild like tree stumps and around the river 
uh, work working on some of my core strength, balance, um, kind of the idea of natural movement, uh, working with my body smarts to to figure out how to move through nature. And I actually prefer it. I don't like being indoors, stuck kind of in this like sweaty place. I don't know, that's just what... Some gyms are beautiful and cool and great. So I guess this is me signing off the vlog. The Wild Revival Homestead way would be to encourage you all to get outside, find your own wild sanctuary, or create it for yourself. If you're in a suburban area or even like downtown city area like we are, um, you can create that for yourself in your home or on your balcony or in your little tiny backyard. Um, you can do it. You can live wild. You can love wild. Okay, see y'all later. Be wild.